Beast Mode Bike. Beast Mode Back. Marshawn Lynch, not officially yet. It's April uh, 13th right now. Marshawn Lynch is supposedly definitely coming back to the NFL as long as the Seahawks trade him to the Raiders, which is almost definitely gonna happen. So Mr. Skittles is back and I can not wait. He's just a, such a, he's a savage among little girls. And I think everyone as a football fan can agree that we need some beast mode back in the league. The league's got a little softer without Lynch, I noticed. So today I wanna dive into what that exactly means for fantasy football in 2017 and the running back landscape now that Lynch is bike. And just before I get into this video, if you want to just rather read the blog post, I will link it down below, which I've already done. And I, God, I hope, pray to God that he actually gets traded to the Raiders, otherwise I did a lot of this work for nothing. But that's what I'm here for, right? Beat me up, Scotty. Lynch goes to the Raiders, the Las Vegas Raiders. <clears throat> uh, that's so weird to say. Not because my throat tickles, but they're in Las Vegas now. He will be replacing the mediocre, the extra medium Latavius Murray in that backfield. Lynch is in prime position to retake the throne as the premier RB in the NFL. Well, not really, but he's going to be up there. So let's look at Latavius Murray and what he's done over the last couple of years as that lead back in that Oakland offense. He's posted bike to bike. Back to back, for y'all don't speak my language. Top 13 fantasy finishes at his position. So in a 12-team league, we're basically talking about an RB1 in both 2015 and 2016. And that's pretty incredible when you when you look at how bad Murray really, really was on this team. He ran behind one of the best lines in the NFL. Not even an arguable fact right there. It's facts. Factoids for you. And he averaged four yards per carry on 195 carries, 4.0. It's whatever, it's not bad, it's not good. But when you look at the rest of the team, they had a combined 200 carries. Take out Derek Carr's like 39 carries or whatever it was. And the rest of the team, filled with backup running backs of Jalen Richard, DeAndre Washington, and sprinkles of other guys, had 200 200 rushing attempts compared to Latavius Murray by himself of 195 yards. No, 195 attempts. Now, the other, all of those carries equated to a 5.32 yards per carry, as opposed to Latavius Murray's four yards per carry. So every other running back on the team did way better than Murray did, behind the exact same offensive line in the exact same offense. A whole 1.3 yards per carry better, which is incredible from a number standpoint. Not only have we seen backs besides um, Latavius Murray excel in this offense and do really well, but the passing offense is also quickly becoming one of the best in the NFL behind Derek Carr, and it's only going to evolve going forward. So all things are pointing up and up for beast mode in Sin City. Now, the red flags are obvious. They're like fucking red billboards when you're on a highway in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. You just can't miss them. And there are three big ones that I really see that stand out. Now, the first, assuming that he comes back and he's playing in week one of the 2017 NFL season, he'll have missed 603 days of football, or one year, seven months, and 25 days since the last time he stepped on a football field. The second is that he turns 31 this month, so he'll be 31 for this upcoming season. The third is he's not a great receiving back, never been his strength. In a league that's becoming more and more of a, um, of a running back, pass catching heavy league. So I want to touch on all three of those points very quickly. First is that is that elongated absence from the NFL, right? He hasn't played since 2015 in their divisional round playoff game, I think it was. Now this could be a good thing or a bad thing. You know, we look at Marshawn Lynch and he had so much tread on the tires, right? Like he took a fucking beating while he was playing. So this rest might be really good for his body, not only physically, but mentally as well, you know? And I think the only way we can really look at this is, is looking at precedents. Precedents? Pre I'm talking about the lawyer term, you know, pres president. Not president like Donald Trump. <sighs> precedents is, I, I guess we'd have to look back at Adrian Peterson um, from the 2014 to 2015 season, right? He missed basically a full calendar year from week one 2014 to week one 2015. 
and he was 30 years old at the time. So almost an identical situation. Lynch's absence was a little bit longer. So what did we see from AP in 2015? After that year-long rest, AP put up 1,700 total yards, 11 touchdowns, finishes RB2 in fantasy. I mean, obviously they're not the same player, but I think they're cut from the same cloth. They're both beasts. I'll take them in a one-on-one -on -one fight against a grizzly bear, or even against the United Airlines crew. I mean, Lynch has always been getting the stupid amount of carries all in, in, in every year that he played for the Seahawks. And when you look back at last year, like I said, Murray only had 195 carries, so it, and he finishes RB13. So it's not like Marshawn needs 300 carries in order to finish as you know a, a low-end RB1, a high-end RB2. If he does, great, because that's even more ceiling for him, right? So I don't think the the lack of Playing in the NFL over the last year, two years, is, is going to kill Marshawn as, as much as a lot of people probably think. Moving on to number two, the fact that he's going to be 31 for this season. I don't think it's a debate that we still need to have every offseason. I mean, it's obvious the older you get and the worse you're going to get at football, but we've seen Adrian Peterson in that year was 30 years old. Matt Forte in 2015 was 29, turned 30, had a really good year too. I don't think it's something that we really have to dwell on, especially with the fact that he's coming off of 600 days of rest. His body's not beat up. So he's going to have fresh legs going in there. And then lastly is the fact that he's not a great receiving back, right? In every season, basically, in, yeah, in every season since his rookie year up to 2014, uh, Beast Mode averaged 30 receptions a year. And last year, Latavius Murray had 33 receptions in the Raiders offense, which led the team among running backs. And I'm not really worried about Marshawn Lynch missing a big piece of that pie, because one, he eats Skittles, not pie. Two, that's never been his strength, right? Catching balls out of the backfield. I mean, he does it now and then, 30 catches, whatever, two catches a game. Uh, but he's had tons of fantasy success without being a key factor in the passing game, right? So I'm not I'm not too concerned about that. Th those third down guys and the pass catchers like Jalen Richard and, and DeAndre Washington can eat up those kind of numbers. But Marshawn Lynch and a great offense will be able to kill it on the goal line, will be able to pound it between the um, on the first and second down with that in elite offensive line. So all that being said, um, I'm, I'm obviously a little bit skeptical of choosing him with my first round pick, especially in the top to mid half. I don't think I would use that because when you, you know, when you, when you're all the way up there in your pick, you, you want some guy that's safe, not, not one with any red flags, right? But I think after uh, Le'Veon Bell, David Johnson and Zeke are off the board, Marshawn deserves some serious, some serious consideration for the next running back to be off the board in comparison to Devonta Freeman, DeMarco Murray, LaShawn McCoy, and those kind of players. So Marshawn coming back puts another big mother fudging fantasy player back on the board for y'all. And I'm excited to watch his ass play again. That dude's a beast. We've missed him greatly. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video, thumb it up, share it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and uh, plenty of new content on the way coming up. Goodbye. Give it a thumbs up. Tune she's back. Tune she's back. As all these bitches screaming that tune she's back. All eyes on me. Nigga bitch, I'm rolling. Strapped up with that Mac. Messed up like a goalie. Man, my bitch on that coat. She snorted four in the baby. Not a bitch on me. She selling pussy.